Hi, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to the All Saints Great Hall on the first Sunday after Christmas. And we don't have a full service for you today, but I wanna light the Advent wreath, talk a little bit about the candles again, and just pray with you a bit as we enter this special time of year. Okay, I bet you remember some of the symbols of the candles. The first candle stands for hope. The second candle, do you remember? Stands for peace. The third candle stands for joy. And the fourth candle stands for love. And then Maria's gonna light the center candle, which is the Christ candle that we only light on Christmas which of course stands for Jesus Christ, who's in the center of it all. We all can have a seat while I finish talking to our friends here. Why is the Christ candle in the middle? Well, one way to think of it is this. There's a lot of people looking for hope, peace, joy, and love. And sometimes we look for those things in all the wrong places. But as it turns out, Jesus Christ is right in the middle of everything. So if you're looking for true hope, look to Jesus. If you're looking for true peace, look to Jesus. If you're looking for true joy, look to Jesus. And if you're looking to true love, look to Jesus Christ. He is at the center of everything, and he wants to be in the center of our lives. Now, there's also some bad stuff out there. There can be despair and doubt and fear and bitterness and resentment. And here's what the Bible says. The Bible never says that those things don't exist. But what the Bible says is that the light is brighter than the darkness. So hope is stronger than despair. Joy is stronger than fear. And that's why Jesus came. And that's why Jesus wants to be part of your life and my life. That's why Jesus stretched out his hands upon the cross and died for your sins and my sins and rose again to offer forgiveness of all the things that we've ever done wrong, thought wrong, or said wrong. Because when that happens, ah, true hope, true joy, true peace, true love with Jesus at the center. You know, there's an old painting, and I'll, uh, I'll put it up on the screen. It's called The Light of the World. And it shows Jesus uh, wearing a crown as the king, knocking on an old wooden door. You can see it right now. And when the artist finished painting the picture, people said, oh, wait a minute, you messed up the door. There's no handle on that door. And the artist said, ah, yes, there is a handle, but it's on the inside. What does it mean? Well, it sort of means that the door is like our hearts, and Jesus is knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door of our hearts because he wants to come in. And it's our choice whether or not to open that door. The handle is on the inside. We can open it any time we want, and Jesus will come in and eat with us and drink with us and wash our feet and anoint our heads with oil and serve us as our Savior. Remember, friends, Christmas is not about a story. It's about a person. And it's not just a person, it's a savior. So, Merry Christmas, thanks be to God, and God bless you. Amen. Well, we always say the Lord's Prayer at this service, at the family table service. And remember, we are part of God's family, and we all have a seat at God's table. So let's pray together, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.